diddly dung. Oh, so many wires. Have to change wires around everyone. Good evening all. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I press the right button and you can see me. Hi gang. Welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. And if it's your first time here, thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel for a Wednesday live stream. So sorry we could not be here last week. Um, but I have a, um, a, a, a text warning thing now on my phone that whenever EE, which is my um, mobile phone provider here in the UK, is going to do uh, maintenance work on the transmitter nearby, um, they do occasionally turn off the 4G signal. And, and I had one last week and it said, sorry, at 20 past 7. Why 20 past 7? I don't know. In the evening when everyone's at home <laughs> you know, needing the internet on their mobiles. So unfortunately we had to postpone until today. But it did come an idea um, in the form of a request show. And I'd like to thank uh, a great musical friend of mine, uh, Barry Gregory, who's um, uh, a Lowry organ owner now. And uh, Barry lives down in Kent and um, Possibly his friend Leslie is watching this evening. Hello, Leslie. And uh, Barry said, hey, Tom, he said, uh, um, what about a request show? And I said, Do you know, Barry, we did one of those um, a few years ago, I think uh, in the middle of the first lockdown. So thanks to Barry for tonight's suggestion for the theme. And um, I put the word out on Facebook, grab my sheet, and we, we have been quite inundated with um, requests from uh, folks that I know. Um, I'm still waiting for one to come in. I, I, I hope Thorsten, <laughs> Thorsten, lovely guy Thorsten, um, um, he lives in Puerto Rico and the Thorsten originally is from Germany. So he learned to play the organ I think in the 1980s and uh, this microphone came from around my foot. Um, anyway, so he's asked me to play a Franz Lambert number, um, but um, he was going to send me the music, a copy of the music on email. So I said, okay, well, if, I, if you can send me the music, I'll try and play it for you. So I'm hoping that might come through. Um, if not, we might have to try and find the first page of it, maybe on a, on a website that sells it. Um, but it's a number called El, El Torio, I think it is. It's one of Franz Lambert, who's famous for the organ player in Germany. Anyway, let's just say a quick few hellos. Um, We've got Jacob on in America. Hey, Jacob, nice to hear from you, sir. Who says, will be bark. <laughs> B-A-C-H, very good. He <laughs> he. Um, MJ's on, Michael Jackson. Um, I think it's Michael, is it Michael? No, it's MJ from Indiana, sorry. Um, uh, hello, hello, everyone. Um, warm greetings from Indiana, the Hoosier State. Well, that's good. I'm pleased it's warm over there. It's actually been a nice day here today. Very windy at the moment. Uh, Rob's on. Good evening, Rob. Um, and he says, judging by the Patreon comments I've seen, this is going to be a great show. So, Rob, I hope you're going to relax for an hour uh, or so, three quarters of an hour with us. Uh, David's on. Hey, David from Penzance. Hope you're feeling better. David's been a little bit under the weather lately. Um, so, best wishes to you, I'm sure, from everyone. Peter's on. Um, and uh, <laughs> Peter Steed has put, uh, Rob, with Tom on the keys, um, it will always be a great show and evening a great entertainment awaits. Well, thank you, Peter. You're very kind. And uh, thank you, Peter, for joining the channel as a member. Very exciting. Um, Trevor Bunce. Um, hey, Trevor, uh, good evening. All just back from the hospital CT scan. Oh, OK. So I hope this cheers me up. Well, we'll do our best, uh, Trevor, and, and best wishes. Hope, uh, hope uh, nothing too worrisome with your CT scan. But obviously, our very best wishes for... A successful outcome with that with everyone who's watching this evening. Alan Robinson, good evening Alan. Have I got your number? Yes Alan, I've got your number. Um, Reverend Tony's on from um, Rugby. Cheryl's on. Hey Cheryl, good to hear from you. Um, Mario, well, hello Mario. Haven't heard from you for a while. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Steve Homan, evening Tom. Hope you enjoy playing for us as much as we enjoy listening to you. Oh, thanks Steve. It's always a pleasure and hello to Pat. And I've got Steve and Pat's requests here on the list. Um, um, so we'll look forward to that um, and uh, yeah look forward to relaxing to your music well we do our best we do our best Dennis is on Dennis Flora hey Dennis welcome looking forward to an awesome music Keith Blaney hey Keith Dolcian32 welcome um, and we've got Keith and Susan on in Essex welcome to you folks um, and Ernie from Iowa and Carrie's on from Northern Ireland blimey Carrie you get around Carrie Carrie Blesser lives in Scotland. She's a, um, a student of mine, and we have online lessons. And uh, I know uh, she's recently been to Cornwall and Holland. Now she's in Northern Ireland, so she's she's travelling the the UK. Actually, this Friday, um, I, well, uh, after Friday, Saturday, I'm on holiday for a week, and um, uh, we're going down to Cornwall. And we've got uh, my wife's parents actually coming over, so we're going to look forward to that. Anyway, um, enough nattering on my part. Let's crack on. We have got quite a mixture of. 
songs this evening. Um, some I haven't played before, so I'm going to be doing a bit of sight reading. Um, and uh, so that's there. Um, uh, and then we've got... Um, the opening number we had there was If if My Friends Could See Me Now, which was requested by Alan. Thank you, Alan. Alan War, one of my online students. Alan lives up in the north of England. Um, and that, of course, comes from Sweet Charity. It's also my signature tune. Um, on the organ, so lovely piece. Anyway, we're going to carry on now with um, the first number of this first part, which is Dances with Wolves, um, and this is the John Dunbar theme. Really great number, um, written by John Barry, and uh, Barry Gregory's requested this. Um, then we've got Barry's um, friend Leslie, who also plays keyboard. She's asked for Omil Bono, um, which I, I, for the life of me, I didn't know it at all, and then I read the music and I was like, ah! That's the piece. Um, so that's that. Uh, and then we've got Alan Robinson has asked for Endless Love, um, which is a very pretty piece. And then we've got some uh, interesting numbers coming up. We've got Nimrod, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I haven't played that for a while. There's a bit in the middle that scares me. Uh, clarinet Polka. Um, we did get asked for Volga Boatman. And I must admit, I haven't got the music in here, so I'm going to have to see if I can find that. Um, uh, yeah, so lots of rather cool pieces. So anyway, everybody, enjoy. And uh, we're going to go now to the keyboard, and we'll start off with Dances with Walls, the John Dunbar thing. Thank you very much. Enjoy.
that's always a fun one, the clarinet polka. And that was requested by uh, another music for a friend of mine who lives very nearby me, actually. Uh, a great um, fan of organs and a real steam enthusiast. He actually owns his own steam um, steam engine or traction engine, Stuart? Uh, I'll say steam engine. I'm sure that there is a difference. I don't want to embarrass myself for getting the wrong one. But Stuart very kindly asked for the clarinet polka, um, which is a one of those ones It's a total muscle memory piece, but uh, learned that long years ago. Alan Robinson requested Endless Love. Um, Leslie asked for Omil Bono, which is that lovely... Because I, I, I... It's probably... probably Omil Bono is probably the most un-Italian pronunciation of it, anyway. Um, and, of course, Barry uh, asked for Dances with Walls. There. Um, anyway, quite a few folks are chatting away, and uh, I have to go back up the list, actually. Um, so who have we got? Um, yes, Carrie says she's away again. Um, hi Tom, first time um, uh, and anxious. Jean-Louis Blondin. Oh, Jean, Jean-Louis, well, welcome. Um, first time, well, I hope you're enjoying the show. Thanks for joining us. Um, Dolcian32 asks, is there a theatre organ where a mixture exists, like on a cathedral organ? Um, yes, th there were some theatre organs I think had mixture ranks on. Um, it was normally something that would be on a probably quite a large instrument. Um, uh, very large organs had main solo chambers. Then you had a thing called a foundation chamber, um, which I think had other ranks in. But I have seen some some theatre organs with mixtures on, um, but uh, it's not not a, a common thing. Um, that's, a, that's a good question, actually, Dulcie. And well done. Um, um, uh, but, uh, but, uh, oh, uh, so Jean-Louis, no, sorry, I'm just a guy from Montreal in Quebec. Well, bonjour. Bonjour, Jean. Um, welcome, and I uh, hope you're enjoying the music. He says, oh, so lovely music. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, oh, okay. Um, oh, 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 ah, oh, mono babino. Caro, lovely. Tom, wish I could do that twiddly bit. Leslie, when we have our lesson, I shall show you how to do that. Um, Barry says, nice choice, Leslie. Played beautifully, Tom. Thank you very, very much, Barry. I hope you enjoyed your dances with wolves as well. Um, oh, Harold's on. Hello, folks. Just listened to the first songs in my car. Well, the car stereo sounds a lot better than my iPad, but it's still better with the video. Ah, okay. So Harold's driving and safely listening um, to the music. Uh, one or two folks having a chat in French. Um, <laughs> So I have to assume that all, is all good. Alan said, thanks, Tom. The whole world could do with more music, more love than war. Yes, um, it's uh, yeah. It, it, it's it's always one of these things, you know, with what's going on in the world, what has gone in, on in the world. You know, how we can all just come together as friends and enjoy music together. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you there, Alan, uh, most definitely. Um, um, oh, oh, Claren... Clarinet and Muckle. I didn't know that song is known outside. Of it. Oh yeah, Harold, the clarinet polka is very well known. Um, in fact, one of my organ students, um, he's a guy called uh, Joshua Joshua Fuchs, um, and uh, he uh, he's a professional jazz pianist in Germany. Very very fine musician. He plays bass, upright bass. He sings. He plays church organ. Uh, he plays theatre organ. And he's having theatre organ lessons with me online. And uh, really great to work with someone in lessons of that level and that caliber. And uh, he last time we were actually playing um, through some traditional German songs. So maybe we can maybe, actually maybe we should do that. That could be a live stream. Maybe traditional songs from different countries. Um, that could be interesting. <laughs> so I, <laughs> this is either one who's got to play them. Anyway, um, uh, so that's all very nice. Anyway, so lots of lots of lovely comments. So thank you everyone. And uh, also Jacob who says, yeah, well, absolutely, why not? I'm gonna tick off my list, because if I don't tick off my list, I will play the same songs twice. And uh, well, I'm gonna put that one at the end. I've done that one, I've done that one. Uh, now, Thorsten's number. I don't know if Thorsten has sent us an email, um, but I'm going to try and find the music online as we're playing. Oh, um, uh, so Tom Tom McCauley did ask for the Volga Boatman, um, which we did that not so long ago on a live, st uh, a vintage music um, video. So I'm going to see if I can um, uh, try and find that for you, Tom. Um, I'm hoping my enormous collection of music might... Oh, the Volga Boat song. Are we going to get lucky? Yes, we've got it! Hey, we're there. Right, so we'll do the Volga Boatman 
song of the Volga Bolton yet. Clarinet Polkadot. Oh yes, and then we've got um, we've got to head back to the organ in a, in a short while, um, um, and um, we're going to play uh, Nimrod um, from the Enigma Variations. Dawn Dawes has requested that, and her and her otherwise significant other slash husband, Norman, <laughs> good old Norman, bless him, who has another another organ student mine. He's asked for Mornings at Seven, James Last. Uh, we've asked for some orchestral music from Keith Blaney and Rob Appleby. Thank you, gentlemen, for that. Uh, anything from Les Miserables, so we'll do that in an orchestral style. And then Stephen Pat has requested um, Patricia, uh, which I remember learning that a long time ago in Kenneth Baker Book Three, I think it was. And that's just also dawned upon me. I don't think I've got the music for that here. Um, I'm so organised. Um, Patricia. I think that's it. Patricia. Oh, well, we'll worry about that in a minute. How have you spelled Patricia? It's too late. Yes, we've got Patricia. Da, 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 da. No, that's a different Patricia. Oh, well, um, I'll try and remember that as best we can. Anyway, uh, so let's carry on with Mornings at 7. Enjoy. <laughs>
Well, a little bit of Nimrod there. Of course, Edward Elgar's beautiful piece from the Enigma variations. And uh, yeah, stunning number. Wonderful on the pipe organ. Really goes uh, very, very, very nicely. Um, so I'm just ticking off my list. <laughs> I know. God, look at that look. Nearly, nearly three quarters of an hour of lovely music chosen by your good selves. And if I actually press the right button, you better see me. Hey, I'm back. There we go. Um, oh, and we've got Kazi, Kazi, Casey, sorry, Casey, I beg your pardon, Casey Latz. Um, how about um, Taylor Swift? Oh, I don't play any Taylor Swift. Maybe that's something I should do, maybe, if I get some free time. Uh, or the Chicken Dance, or Compton, or Camp Town Races. I don't Camp Town Races, I know that one. Um, I must admit, I don't have a huge amount of Taylor Swift in my repertoire. Um, sorry, Casey. Um, uh, when we do another request show, let me know in advance your favourite Taylor Swift song or BTS, and we can do that. Uh, lots of folks saying thank you. Um, so, yes, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Oh, uh, Norman's just joined us. Um, just a quick hi. I'm at work, so we'll catch up soon. Um, having uh, Have a great evening. And he says, also, I look like I tuned at the right time. <laughs> It's when we play these things. We've had a request from um, Keith uh, and Susan. Uh, well, Keith, I should say, Susan. Susan uh, would have probably picked a different number than this one, but uh, Keith has asked uh, if we could play the Dam Busters, so we will do that uh, towards the end, um, which is really good. And uh, yeah, so there we go, everybody. Um, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm just looking down my list. There is one more number, and that's, um, uh, we've asked, had a request from Carrie, um, who's in Northern Ireland at the moment, visiting, I would presume, um, family. Um, uh, she's asked if I could play... <laughs> she said, she said she, she's a supporter of mine on, on Patreon. By the way, if, if you're enjoying the show, folks, those of you who um, support me on Patreon, um, uh, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, if, I, if I've played a number of yours tonight and you would like to put some diesel in the hire vehicle that I'm driving down to Cornwall on Saturday, you can do that by visiting paypal.me forward slash th music. Um, it's not, not expected anything. Uh, if you want to tip the musician of the evening, that will be graciously accepted. Thank you so much. Uh, you can also join the YouTube channel now um, as a member, which starts from a pound a month, and that helps you support and let the channel grow. And of course, there's Patreon for patreon.com forward slash keywords pro. I know a lot of folks on here tonight are uh, Patreon members and uh, patrons of the channel and uh, your support is truly appreciated. Uh, there's always something to buy um, um, to expand the lessons online or the online things. Um, while I was uh, quickly nattering away there, um, I was just trying to find um, a piece of music and I, I have actually found on a website a first page of the song that um, uh, Thorsten wanted. So I'm going to see if I can read that. It's very tiny on my phone, but it's like a preview. Um, um, so I'll, I'll see if we can do that. Anyway, Franz Lambert, um, if you don't know Franz, Franz is a, a bit of a, a celebrity. Um, he's, he's like one of the, probably one of the, the most famous Versi players. And in Germany, um, He's often on talk shows. Uh, he wrote, I think it was the 1995 FIFA World Cup theme, but he's a, a real legend of Versi organs. Anyway, he, he likes to write these kind of pop numbers, um, which are really fun. Um, and uh, they sort of go a little bit, well, a little bit funny enough, huh? like this. I don't think we're going to have all of it, but Thorsten, um, thanks for requesting this one. Um, <laughs> You might recognise it actually, it's, it's a fairly well known number, it goes a bit like this.
<laughs> something like that. Um, <laughs> it's really tiny, like it's so small. But that's that's actually an arrangement by George Fleury, which um, is on the um, oh. Uh, it was on George Fleury's website, um, which I guess I think it's one he did for one of the O'Key magazines. But you can get that on there, um, uh, which is nice, and uh, I think there's a MIDI file as well. So yeah, that's called that's called El El Torero, and it's by Franz Lambert. So uh, that's available online if you want to treat yourself to a copy of that. Um, so Thorsten, we did it. I think actually I've played everyone's numbers um, except this one now. Um, Carrie, bless her, said, um, Tom, don't kill me, um, but I, I've sent you an email <laughs> with my request on. Um, and, um, uh, oh, um, Joshua's watching. Um, Joshua's put, Daddy, and then lots of numbers. What song is this, Jennifer's asked. Well, I just, oh, no, it might be Joshua. Um, thanks, Tom, for another wonderfully varied programme, says David. Enjoyed your upcoming holiday. Yes, we're down your way, David. Not actually far from you, actually, but far enough. Uh, <laughs> in the nicest possible way. No, no. Um, I, we're going down to Falmouth, actually, um, which will be nice. Uh, we went to Cornwall about four years ago with some friends. Um, um, but uh, so it'd be nice to, because um, uh, a big thing for my mother in law, um, Gia, she's a, a huge Doc Martin fan. She loves Doc Martin. And so we're going to take her to um, uh, uh, Port Isaac, where the show is filmed. Uh, so that's going to be exciting. Anyway, sorry, I keep rambling and going off the track here. We've got two numbers away. And um, Dulcin did ask if we could finish with the Vidor Toccata. I'll tell you a secret, um, Dulcin. I've never played it all the way through. I've, I've only ever learned bits of it. I, I'm trying. I'm trying at the moment to finish it. Actually, it's one of these things. I, a lot of my concerts never really call for the Vidor Toccata, or the organ you're playing can't do the Vidor Toccata. So yeah, maybe we can do that. Um, for a concert in the near future. That'll give me an excuse to finally finish it. Um, Jennifer, Daddy, read my comments. I am Josh. Well done, mate. Good lad. Um, and um, yes, there we go. So anyway, Carrie, <laughs> concentrate, Tom. Carrie said, uh, Tom, don't kill me. She says, I've sent my request on an email. And Carrie's request was a big one. Um, and I, I couldn't couldn't do that. Um, um, but she's asked, could I play for her Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody? Um, and I have done, we have done this on a live stream before, but it was on the piano. So I thought, well, it'd be fun to do that on the organ or the keyboard, perhaps. So we're going to do that on the uh, keyboard. And uh, I got part, um, earlier on this afternoon, I was at a private uh, birthday party. A gentleman who I played for his wife's, uh, but both their 70th um, uh, birthdays five years ago, scarily. Um, anyway, so he, he emailed me and he said, Tommy said, I'm doing a sort of a secret lunch party for my wife, Carol. Would you give us the honour of coming along and playing? So a lovely three or four hours with lots of people. It was nice to see again. And um, so while the speech was going along, I was doing some sneaky registrations for Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoy this. Um, this has never been attempted before. God knows how this is going to go. I've just got to try and remember what the registrations are. So if it goes wrong, well, we'll blame Carrie. Um, in fact, um, entertainingly, um, I haven't actually got all the settings for it. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> ah, boy, hold on to your seats, folks. Bohemian Rhapsody.
Thank you.